<laughs> but that, that this kind of love I want to get from people, most especially for my brothers. <laughs> love will bore you. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, it's a boy again, Adam's link, and uh, of course, you guys are seeing the picture now. <laughs> love will bore you. So Naramali got his brother a house for his birthday. A house. In fact, he posted about it. It says, special day, special gift from a special person. Thank you, Naramali, for this huge birthday gift. <laughs> a house, oh, a house, oh. not just a house. Oh. Of course, you can see the gate, oh. well furnished. Oh. See the house, massive, like you know, be say with everything, even uh, even a uh, dustbin follow a common dustbin where they put uh, beans follow a common in a nice gated environment. <laughs> yeah, so that house uh, we set back to like 100 or something million at least, at least, depending on the area, though, it might go up to 200 or something to 300 at least. He also, he also, <laughs> not be the same Naira. Many people they say they hear and what be that. Is it not the same Naira? Many people say they they, they hear and what be that. Now I just bypass he also, he also, he also. Loyalty man, he also. Damn, that is big fish. He also. And they say Nara Mali now that they toss it in the hair and out. Ah, damn. That is huge. That is massive. That is really, really massive. Ah. Don't be the same person that the Allah say the guy, the Jones, and all those kind of things in the hair and out. Now don't buy Percy. Yeah, so. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> brother, the money too much. Eh? The money too much. The money too much. <laughs> the money too much. The money, oh, boy, you. But. However, it's going to feel the heat though because of this more bad matter. No matter how it be the heat, the pockets, it need more money. You know, it need more money. Many Nigerians no go think say that money na still music money. They will see they feel like say if maybe Nara they do one or two things for corner, maybe uh, the drugs uh, issue and uh, some other stuff. Everything must not be drugs now. Just maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe, just maybe, just maybe, na music money. Money day music, oh. And this guy they already fair make serious cash on the, from music. So, most definitely, he no go be drugs. You know, he has never been convicted of any drug na, in Niger. In fact, na NDLE, he was once almost rumored to be made an NDLE ambassador. The only thing you do ever seen a Ramali do na smoke Igbo. Online, but you never catch and say the smoky boo. So nobody can say, Oh, Naramali, the smoky boo, we want to arrest them with the same online. How can you prove he's smoky boo? He can just tell you, I'm just smoky artificial something. It's not a boo, I'm smoky. So you cannot prove it at least. So you cannot say drug is more money, he has never been convicted of any drug before. Even Yahoo Yahoo make it they caught for, they have not convicted him. So it's music money. But then go here and more though because of more bad matter. The money no go they come as before. Shows no they come again. Shows are no longer coming. So, but that gift is massive. A house for a birthday gift. Man, Naramali, nice one. Some people go spend money, buy many, many property, give uh, women. But they no go remember their own brother to buy them correct gift for birthday. You know, they'll go buy property, give women. Me they just new receipt because of Punani. But they're not gonna remember their brother birthday. Big one, massive one to to 
Naramali, massive one to Ram. Not all brothers can do that kind of thing that he just did. Not all. They are very, very few. Let's talk about this guy though. This guy may buy that guy, make it be a family friend. According to him, eh, the 23 years old uh, Ayo Dimi Adele, a 300 level uh, student, recently while he was interviewed, uh, he said, I deserve, eh, I deserve to be sentenced to death. But if I get another chance, hmm, I will never do it again. <laughs> According to him, he said, I had not been at home for over six months. The victim, Christian Ido, 18 years, contacted me several times in school where I was studying uh, philosophy in tier 100 level. She had been contacting me that she, want, she wanted to repair her phone because I had repaired it for her before. We were church members. I had known her for three years before the incident. On why he killed her, he said, I killed her because I had financial problem. I thought of the problem and decided to strangle her while she was busy going through my phone. I then called her mother claiming that she was kidnapped and she had and she should pay a ransom. <laughs> and later she, he said, I know what I did was wrong. Please forgive me. I know I do not deserve any mercy. Please forgive me. But if I have another chance, eh, I will never do it again. <laughs> you bad person, you say you did look for another chance. <laughs> God, this guy, be like say they don't tell her. They don't tell her what's up. <laughs> You bad person, they look for another chance. <laughs> he said, I didn't really pounce on her. She was preoccupied with my own phone. Then it was drizzling and a little noisy. So I just grabbed her, applied pressure. She started struggling. She didn't really shout because I already suppressed her. I then squeezed her throat and she gave up. She was focusing on TikTok video. She did not say anything. In fact, that when that incident happened, my cell phone dropped from my hand, he explained. I placed her body on a set on the seat and took a picture so that I could send it to her mother. I didn't send it immediately. I just left her uh, at I just left her at the shop like that. That was around 5:30 p.m. on Monday night. I left her on the seat and went to plan how to dispose of the body. By 11 p.m. the same night, I started to dig a grave in a small farm behind our compound. Luckily, rain fell that day, so the ground was a little soft. I dug, I, I dug using a shovel. I was not able to dig deep that night, so I postponed the digging. The body was still in the shop. By 4 p.m. a.m. the following day, I woke up. I continued digging. Honestly, I did not close my eyes till daybreak. I was just filled with thought about what I did. I then took the body to the shallow grave, only to notice that it could not be covered well. I thought of what to do because I was really tired of digging. I had the uh, beasters on my hands and uh, the shovel I used had already broken. So I thought of uh, chopping off a head to meet to make it easy. But I did not. But I did not have the courage to do that. I just had to continue digging, digging even if the shovel broke. I continued to dig until the shallow grave could contain her. I then buried her and covered it with sand. Everything happened before 5 a.m. Then I left the scene to contact her mother and demand a ransom. Asked how he got uh, Christiana mother's number, he said it was on the daughter's phone. Luckily, she did not have a pain 
number or passcode. I recognized her mother's face in her profile picture. I then called and the first thing I said to her, Hello, madam, we have your daughter. The next thing she said was, Who be this? Maybe she thought it wasn't for real. Then I sent a text message telling her same thing. The story long, but he's asking for forgiveness. So the question is, Nigeria, should we forgive him? Should the law have mercy on him because he said he's going to repent? Uh, what do you think should be the judgment of this guy? Hmm? Should the law temper mercy with, just, with uh, uh, justice? Hmm? Forgive him and let him work so that he can repent. It doesn't work like that, guy. You are going down for it. The same, the same way that get test that eh, you will test them too. Sorry, it doesn't work like that. It, do, it doesn't work like that. Eh? It doesn't work like that. You know, you knew exactly what you did. You had those intentions in your mind, going through some financial issue. As young as you were, how many years safe? About uh, 20, 20 what? 23 years old, going through financial issue. You know I made me don't go through financial issue before for my life and now I'm more than 30 years eh? and I'm still struggling and you they go through financial issue, go by person, I lie, oh. no financial issue, you are going down for it.